Juggernaut Live! This is the main event of the evening! It's me! Hello. How's it going? It's a day off today. Hooray! We all love days off, don't we? Especially when you've got another day off tomorrow. Um, so I thought I'd start working on a new Top 50 video. Um, I've noticed uh, recently that it's been requested a bit that I've taken over a year to kind of update the PC Engine Top 50. Uh, people were saying, well, where's the CD games? And I keep saying, I'll get round to it, I get round to it. But I never did. Um, today's the day. I start working on it. Um, I figured that I may as well play it live with you guys, um, record the footage live with you guys, but I've also got a separate stream where I'm recording just purely the footage for the game and the audio from the game. So no matter what we talk about, no matter how we talk over the system and, and over about you know what the game is being done and what's going on in live chat, we'll have a pure video of the game footage that I can use for my top 50 list and we can still have a bit of fun while doing it so win-win right well, let's give this a go okay so let's see what's happening here apparently my stream health is very bad at the moment so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that although it was fine a minute ago so I haven't got a clue what's going on did Steam start downloading let me just find out. Oh, you naughty, naughty Steam. Naughty, naughty Steam. Stop downloading. Naughty, bad Steam, bad Steam, bad Steam. Okay, well, hopefully that will do the job. I'm just gonna do a little test. I'm gonna go live on my tester and see what's going on with the outputs. See if there's anything else I can do to help it. Make sure I don't kind of, you know, kill everything. Everything working okay? I can't really hear. So that would help if I switch my headset on, wouldn't it? Now I can hear, so I can check my test. Okay, good. Right, it seems okay. For some reason it says my video output is very low, but I'll figure that out as I go along. Uh, everything seems hunky-dory. Everything seems as normal. So we're gonna carry on as normal. Screw it. Let's roll. So, the first game on the list is Adam's Family. I've, just to let you know, I have done a bit of footage already with these um, so there are a couple of games we won't cover because I've already covered them so um, let me get up the list and I can tell you which ones I've already recorded footage for now bear in mind that just because I've recorded footage does not necessarily mean it's going to go in the top 50 okay so um, this is just footage that I've done so nothing else considered so the ones we have done already are the 4-in-1 Super CD so that's Bomberman, Bonk Adventure, Bonk Revenge, Gate of Thunder, um, Adv Advanced Variable Geo, Double Dragon 2, uh, Lemmings, Jim Power, Marshall Champion, Neo Nectaris. And that's about it. Oh, and Hawaiian Island Girls. Okay, but yeah, the rest of the games, as I say, we've got, uh, got to record. They may not go in. We'll see. <sighs> Excuse me while I yawn. Right, well, let's get the show on the road. And let's start playing the Adam family. Yeah, it's not easy being you, Tully Alfred. But that's okay. Could have been worse. Could have been an Adams. It's hard trying to live up to Mother's lofty goals. 
Why couldn't you be more like your brother? Have you ever expected to make a living slaving over those extravagant weirdos, the Adams family? Hey, what about my gold? Oh, what's the use? Here I am again, just like clockwork. Too bad we couldn't do this once a year. I mean, why should I have to demean myself each and every time I set foot on this property? Tully, my boy, you seem a bit stressed these days. I hate to think my humble family is the cause for your duress, but I have an idea which I think you might like. If you're able to successfully find the family vault, you may take as much money as you wish. There is one catch. The family and I shall all be at home waiting patiently to... Well, let's just say to make your task a bit more difficult than one might have originally imagined. Hmm. I mean, hmm. how hard could it be to find that... Great voice home? acting, huh? And what could they possibly do to me that they haven't tried before? By Ain't no probing? By Gomez, I'll do it. <laughs> to oh, by Gomez. Friend, how about playing a round of golf? Uh, sorry, Gomez. Yikes! I'm a bit busy right now. Wow. Wow, the sound isn't annoying at all. No, not at all. Enemies take a bazillion hits to kill. Uh, ah, screw you, we'll just pass you, any. No, we can't pass you. We've got to kill you, you're a boss, huh? Well, this is crap. This is garbage. It's not fun at all. No, this is not going in the top 50. Uh -uh. You literally can't shoot quick enough to destroy the enemies. Yeah, you ease it faster. Yeah, I dig. I thought this was supposed to be all in good fun. You feel okay? Oh boy, this is a weird family. 
Oh, well, I'm sure old Festa didn't mean anything by it. I hope. So you can't go through the doors. I'm going to lower the desktop audio just a touch. You, uh... Okay, well, maybe you can go through the doors then. Nope. So how come I could get through that door, but no others? Okay, that's not creepy at all. It's a room that does nothing apart from creep you out. Okay, I'm out of here. That's, that's, whoa. Now, I can't push up on any other doors. And you can't walk up the stairs. You have to jump them. Okay. No, not that one. How about that one? No. Home, weird home. That's something we can actually touch. Should we try it again? Dun, 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 dun. We'll skip the uh, the introductions this time. I can't move. So you have to take that first hit. You can't dodge it. You physically can't dodge it. The con the control just doesn't work. Now, before we get going any further on this game, what I want to do is I want to set my auto fire because I think that will really help with uh, with some of the, the bits and pieces in this game. So let's set auto speed. Okay, so hold on a second. We're just gonna configure our turbo buttons. So, turbo one, turbo two. That's more like it. I'll be able to actually do something now. That's what I love about the PC engine. It's got the uh, the built-in auto fire on the controller. Right, I'm ready for your festival, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna say it's interesting that you play the bad guy in this. The Adams family were never really deemed to be the bad guys. And Tolly was always the greedy lawyer trying to get their hands on the Adams's money. Even with auto fire, this is a bitch.
Yeah, eat it, bitch. Yeah, you dig. Wait, I thought this was supposed to be all in good fun. You feel okay? Oh boy, this is a weird family. Mm. Oh, well, I'm sure old Chester didn't mean anything by it. I hope. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> There's my key. Right, well, we went that way last time. Let's go upstairs this time. From this side. See where we can go. So you have to go into this door, then, really? No? This door, then. Okay. Oh, look, it's Wednesday. And she's got a Nintendo! <laughs> Look, she's got a Nintendo over there! Oh, I'm sure NEC loved that. Destroy everything here while this creepy, unsettling music plays and completely throws me off. Wow, that is freaky. And when you die, you have to destroy everything all over again. Okay, so they follow you. Let's make big jumps so we can hit them on the flip side. Yeah, there we go. That's the first one. Whoa. 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 I wonder if the Nez is going to be the boss. Nah, come here. Oh, God, how many things are going to be thrown at me? Yeah, there's the Nez. Evil Nintendo! Come on and kill me! That was fun, Mr. Alfred. I hope we have the chance to do it again sometime. But I'm sorry, I don't have any money. You can have my allowance if you like. But I'm sure if you go downstairs, my daddy will help you. He likes to play games too. Hmm, does he now? Where do we go? Ah! Son of a bitch! This game's ridiculously difficult. For what it is. And maybe I was a little hasty. Maybe it's not as bad as it first seemed. It's just, um, yeah, it's not spectacular. Oh, a key. I can get through yellow doors now. If I make it out of this room alive. Go. Totally misjudged the timing on that. But wasn't there? Yes, there was a yellow door here. So what's in here? What? It's dropping me right back outside. 
Damn. At least there are no enemies. And no fester. Thank God for that. Right, well, let's look downstairs. We've got a yellow key and a red key now, so let's go through the yellow door. Ah, oh, damn, it's this creepy room again. Gah! Now, I've played games like Resident Evil, uh, Fatal Frame, um, PT Demo, but nothing creeps me out as much as the background for this. It's really, really fucking creepy. And the room serves no purpose, it seems, apart from the creepy out. So, that is, that is an evil, evil, evil room. Let's go through the big doors. Let's see what's in here. Death and destruction, of course. What the hell? Everything homes in on you. They literally follow a very kind of wide path, but they they follow you completely. Damn. Well, I think that's enough Adams Family. Uh, I think it's safe to say that that one isn't going to quite make the cut. Uh, but yeah, it was worth the checking out, right? So let's move on to the next game. Let me get it set up. Let me just eject the drive. Okay, and let's get the next one rolling. So. The next game is going to be drum roll, please. Oh, it's a good one. It's a it's a crowd favorite. It's everyone's favorite PC Engine CD game, and you're gonna love it. It's it's <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Trust me. Um, and the funny thing is. I think this might actually make it into the list because I think it's a barrel of fun. Now, why isn't my controller working? Okie dokie. Let's try that again. Right, one second. My controller's decided to stop working. That's never cool. Let's just, uh, yeah, for some reason, it's not being recognized by the system, so I'm just going to have to do a little, little bit of tweaking. That should do it. <laughs> yeah, that should do it. My controller's working again. Yes, okay, right, we're good to go. Now, it is, of course, the famous or infamous. I Choniki. Now, if you've never heard about Aichoniki before, well, you're in for a surprise. <laughs> yeah, 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 if you follow the story of the Muscle Brothers on the hunt for protein or something, um, it's really weird, really, really, really creepy and strange. And it's got a kind of homosexual undertone to it, but it's a really cool game and I really enjoy it. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and it's had a huge following. There have been so many Choaniki games. Um, it's it's truly unlike anything else on the market. It's its own kind of weird take on, on shmups. Just like cute em ups well, this one's got muscle em up I guess. muscle em up Yeah. So this is one of the uh, the later games for the for the PCCD. Um, 
Okay. Hi Marco, how you doing? As I say, this there's <laughs> nothing quite like this. Yeah, sex him up, pin Mike. I gotta shoot my protein at everything. And of course, the more you hold down the button, the more special attacks you do. And you show off your fabulous muscles at the same time. Now, I haven't played this in many a year, so I'm gonna be extremely rusty. But everything in this game, from the music, to the visuals, to the bizarre way it controls, there's nothing like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and the bosses. Oh, you're gonna love this. If you've never played this before, I implore you just to check it out. I really do. <laughs> I never figured out if you can do those kind of hurry arm moves at will. Because I can never seem to do them when I want to do them. But. I'm in trouble. Being stuck in the corner is never cool. Ah! There goes another life. I'm sure there's somebody out there who fully understands Japanese and will tell me exactly how to do the moves. Because I'm sure you can pretty much do them on demand, but I've never figured out how. I mean, Street Fighter style circular motions kind of work, but it's very strange as is the game in general really Ooh, ah. there we go Fire my protein being an Adam. Here comes the boss. Oh no. Maybe not not just yet. It definitely doesn't play like your regular shmup. And that's why I like it, I think. Because it is so different. It's it's definitely original. And it's got a great visual style too. I mean, it's all well drawn. It's all well animated. It's hard as balls, but that's pro probably because of the uh, not knowing the controls. All aboard the man train. And it's a man cannon. I'm guessing my main character's had a few of those in his time. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> yeah, nothing quite like Chuniki. There we go. So yeah, and it's great. The game gets a bad rap purely because of the way it looks and the way it's styled, but it's it's very unique and I I get a kick out of it, I really do. And I think it's got some great animation in there. And the fact that it's just absolutely insanely weird just adds to it for me. Close to him. There we go. Damn. I'm going to be dying very shortly. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually happening. You're not seeing things. There is a gigantic muscle man with a traffic cone on his head. And now there are two. I died. Apparently they're brothers, if I remember rightly. No continue! Oh man! Well... Well, this time we're going to do a bit better. Now I've kind of got back into the swing of things a little. It's your time! Ah! His titties just jiggle. And I forgot about his spinning technique. It's kind of my shield.
Alright, this time we're gonna do better. We're gonna remember our spin. We know the movements for some of the special techniques now. We're gonna use our protein to come out clearly and safely. Okay. Spin out the way. Yes. Much cleaner than last time. Not perfect, but, but better. So focused trying to figure out what's going on. comes the man train again. It's a good time! Oh, that was unfair. Oh, come on. There we go. How come I can never fire that beam when I want it? It just comes out randomly. But that's stage one done again. <laughs> what the fuck, seriously? <laughs> I would have loved to have been an, a fly on the wall at the meeting about this game. Hey boss, I got an idea. Let's get two oiled up muscle men to fly about and fire laser beams from their underpants. It'll be huge! Just a, a room full of Japanese corporate suits. Going hi! Ah. Close. Oh, hi Arturo. Yeah, it does look good. This is a uh, Aichoniki um for the for the PC Engine CD. I'm starting to compile a list of my top 50 PC CD games, ready to do a, a video for them. So I thought, well, if I'm going to be playing them and going to be recording them, then I might as well stream it while I'm recording and playing them. So in my top 50 PC Engine CD games, you, you'll see the footage that we record today for some of these games. I'm not saying that every game we play is going to make it in, but you know, the ones that do will be recorded via stream probably. Ah. 
I'm just gonna wait until he fires it and then yeah okay maybe we'll do it this way this seems to be a a, a more safe way of doing things let's go yeah yeah let's do it this way this works much better Ah, got hit. There we go. And here's where we died last time. But I'm going to remember my spin dash move. It's not quite Sonic the Hedgehogs, but it will get me out of a pinch. Ah! Damn, I've been hit twice in very quick succession. That's another thing about this game. You can't wait to see what the next level looks like. What the hell? I died again, but nothing hit me. Did you see a bullet hit me? Okay, um, I'm lost and confused, but that is part of what I journey gears. It's it's loss and confusion. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a crazy game. But let's move on. Let's get the next one going. Okay, so let me just get out of I Chuaniki. So, Aichuniki is done. Adam's family is done. Now, we could go straight on to uh, Dracula X, Rondo of Blood, but we all know that's going to be in the list, so I'm going to save that for another time. Let's play some other games that we haven't tried, or that I haven't tried in a long time, and see how they stack up. So, all of these games are going to be recorded in the end. I have a list of uh, 176 that I'm, I've kind of shortlisted, and I'm going to shortlist them down to a top 50 from that 176 games. This is pretty much all of the English games available for the PC Engine CD, all the ones that you don't need Japanese to understand. You know, so we we take away the RPGs, that kind of thing. We take away Snatcher, which even though it's my personal favourite game on the Sega CD, and I know how good the PC Engine version is. I'm not going to include it in my list because you do need to understand Japanese to play it. Um, so my list basically covers games that you can play without understanding the language, which does reduce the, the amount available somewhat. But um, for me, it's, it's a better idea uh, because half of the games are RPGs that are very difficult to understand. But this one isn't difficult to understand. Everyone knows this one. It's famous. It is Fighting Street, also known as Street Fighter. Here we go. Let's go, good old Blighty. It's where I live. And Birdie, of course, Birdie wasn't in Street Fighter 2, but he did make it into Street Fighter Alpha. And then he became a regular character in Street Fighter 4, and then subsequently Street Fighter 5 as well. Wah! Now, this game is very difficult, by the way. Very difficult indeed. Um... And some of the home conversions were even harder than the arcade. For example, the Amiga version of this, the uh, the developers forgot to code in the special moves.
Oh, hang on. Punch him in the bollocks. I'll call you back. Sorry, I just got a Skype phone call. In the middle of the stream, so. That's another key. You've got a lot to learn before you beat me. Try again, kid. The sound was absolutely freaking terrible. Absolutely terrible sound in this game. I'm trying to pull off a dragon punch because if you land those you can kill them with a single shot but the problem is the timing on Street Fighter 1 is literally frame perfect so you have to hit the punch button the moment you push forward Same with the fireballs and um, hurricane kicks. So yeah, my timing is is not there. Oh, there we go. <laughs> but I miss his head. Didn't know. And I have a really itchy nose. Don't know why, but I do. Fight door. Go on, let's get that dragon punch going. Son of a. Dun. Dragon punch. Ah! All right, we'll sweep you to death. Or a kick in the crackers. A good old kick in the crackers works wonders. That's a face not even a mother could love. Don't forget there are many doors like you all over the world. Eagle. Eagle is a rare character in Street Fighter that has never been in another Street Fighter game, but he was in Capcom VSNK. And I believe he was in Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper for the uh, for the Game Boy Advance version, or was it the PSP version? He was a he was a kind of a, an extra character thrown in for one of the the newer editions of that game. That that's it. The, the, Oh, right in the face. I'm very glad. <laughs> the voice acting is hilarious. Ah. Two fireballs in one match. Holy crap. Ah. Just get owned. I'm very glad. This game is just brutal. It's uh, it's very hard to control. It's not responsive in the slightest. <laughs> All that I can say though is thank God for Fighting Street because if it wasn't for this game, I wouldn't have got my favorite or one of my favorite games ever, Street Fighter Two, and the series just phenomenal. Reinvigorated the fighting genre, and I wouldn't have got Final Fight, which in turn wouldn't have made Streets of Rage, which would have made me a very sad panda. Because I love those games as well, and it's all thanks to Street Fighter. Even though I hate it at this particular moment because it's so brutal. 
It's historic and it's amazing. Ah, fuck! I'm trying to make this language friendly. I'm trying not to swear too much, but this game just makes me want to blast it out. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. Right, let's try a different country to start with. Should we do good old Japan? Japan! Against Retsu. Another character which never made it back into the Street Fighter series. Um, I'd like to see them return with a couple of characters from, from SF1. I think that'd be really cool. Like they did with, uh, with what's his name, Jen? Look at my massively effective sweep kick. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. how you like that? Fireball to the chops. This is a game where you can be proud that you landed a fireball. Normally, whenever I fire one, they either jump it or just block the bloody thing. Oh! Oh, you're mine. You are mine. Oh! I'll pretend I meant to do that. Now, if I was recording this in the top 50, I'll be showing that masterclass. <laughs> that fluky dragon punch. Oh, and I killed him. Look, he's dead. Well played, but don't forget there are many gods out here all over the world. I hope not. That would be a very sorry state of affairs for the world. And here's Geki, the obligatory ninja. But is he a ginger ninja? We will never know. Also looks remarkably similar to Vega. Or Balrog, depending on which version you're on about. Because of his claw. But this guy also has shuriken. And getting close to him is a pain. One more good hit, and he's a goner. Oh! In the butt cheeks. Here we go. You feel so happy when you actually get to land it. There. Broke your toes. We're storming through the ranks. Doesn't he just look like Ryu with a headband on? Maybe a nose job. Here we go. Didn't quite get them all. But it's good enough. We say 
Okay, it's good old Joe. Hey, Joe, what do you know? And what he knows is how to kick my ass. Oh, gut punch. <laughs> okay, baby. Jesus Christ. Hot damn, he's tearing me up. <laughs> you don't expect that, that voice to come out. Let's put my name in the high school chart. Yay, seventh. Hooray, go me. Are we going to continue? Because Joe's just absolutely hilarious. Okay, here we go. <sighs> oh. It's like fighting in treacle this game. You have to hold down the punch buttons to do more damage. And your light punches do nothing to this guy. So it's all about the timing of... Oh, come on, I can really use a dragon punch. Well, a fireball. Yeah, that works. Whew. Okay. Yes. Mmm. Oh, he means business now. Look at him. Look at him go. Those kicks. Oh, come on. One more. Yes. Death by punch in the dick. Oh, yeah. Yes. Ryu won the fight over the enemy. Who's next? Friends, but don't forget there are many gods like you all over the world. Mike. Mike Bison. As in Balrog from Street Fighter 2. They never completely confirmed the connection, but this guy's a boxer. In Street Fighter 2, Balrog's a boxer. Very similar style of play. Let's be honest, this is Bison. Which, of course, had his name changed to Balrog for the US and the UK. And he just punched me square in the crackers. Basically, they changed the name so that they wouldn't get a lawsuit from Mike Tyson. Oh, Hadouken, that... It is an act of genuine surprise when you fire off a special move. Half of the time you're, you're just struggling with the controller. I don't know if you can see my controller input up here. See, that lights up whenever I push a button. So you can see my input. And you can see me just trying to get that damn dragon punch going. Oh, Hadouken! Come on! Oh no, he punched through the fireball! It was about to land! Oh man, that hurts! You've got a lot to learn before you beat me. Try again, kids!
We got last credit. Let's see if we can beat Bison. Enough of the fancy stuff, let's just sweep. Okay, going for it. Fireball, 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 fireball. Come on. Nah, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I've worn down my finger. I'm getting the old red finger of doom or red thumb of doom in this case. Look. I think that's enough for Street Fighter before I get blisters. But yeah, that is Fighting Street, Stroke Street Fighter, the original. I don't know if it's going to make my top 50. As a game, it kind of sucks. But in terms of its historical value and um, what it means in legacy, I'm kind of tempted to throw it in there. Um, I'll have to have a think about it. In the meantime, let's move onwards and upwards. Now, what is the next one on the list? So we've done Fighting Street. So that one can come off my list. Okay. What is going to be the next one? Now this one, I, I featured it in my PC Engine Top 50 but the CD version is different and it has an additional extra game on it um, while the PC Engine version was a very accurate game and it only came out in Japan but it was still in full English I'm not sure what to expect by the, the CD version there may be a lot of Japanese in it I honestly don't know but what I do know is that there is more to it than the original version had so let's give it a go Let's get this show on the road with the next game on the list. Populous, The Promised Lands. So this takes the original game, which was on the PC Engine, and it has got the, the kind of semi-sequel, The Promised Land, on there as well. The Savior was named by the people. They called him God. God rewarded those who worshipped him with gifts of fertile lands and with inspiration and wisdom. The people prospered, becoming rich from this divine benevolence. Wow, typos in this make me cringe. They united, forming the mystical God's tribe. But lo, at this very time of increased harmony, an ambitious presence was felt bringing the powers of evil and discord. That sounds like fun. Can I be the evil one? People name this evil presence the devil. Those cool. who idolized its jealous power became the occult devil's tribe. It did not take long for tribes with such opposite intentions to clash. War to clash. inevitable. Now begins the history of this everlasting conflict. Ooh, ooh.
So you've got Populous and the Promised Lands. So let's go straight for the Promised Lands, which is kind of the, the expansion semi-sequel. Let's go right into it. Now luckily, even though it's a Japanese only game, everything seems to be in English. And as you can see, it's a little different from the original game. It doesn't quite take itself so seriously with floppy disks, RAM chips and graph paper that my characters are living on. And with a cursor that's oddly reminiscent of The Sims. Now we've got CD-ROMs and coffee cups and pencils. Right, let's go and uh, adjust the land a little bit. I believe we just hold the button down, don't we? Oh, we got some teddy bears now. I can't raise or lower my land. Why is that not working? Is this the enemy land, perhaps? Do I am I over here? Ah, look, here I am. It's even got a Commodore logo. Can you see that? Of course, this game was created on a Commodore Amiga. That was where Populous became famous. And it was then ported to pretty much every system under the sun. There is even a Game Boy version, which was a technical marvel at the time. But it didn't quite look like this, that's for sure. So the plan is, each of those buildings has a settler in it and the bigger the expanse around the area the bigger the uh, the settler uh, world becomes and the bigger the settler world becomes the stronger they get and you can send them out to conquer more land and eventually fight the opposing tribes what the hell is that Uh, it looks like a uh, PC Engines now. Look, there's a Super Graphics PC Engine CD. Just clearing out everything, making sure everything's nice and flat. And you notice it becomes a huge expanse with four player multi taps, monitors, you name it, it's in there. I'm going to destroy that man's house because I want him to build a bigger one. Now this may seem rather boring. I'm not sure if you guys like this on the stream or not, but trust me, Populous is a game that hooks you once you're into it. I've forgotten the amount of hours I, I used to spend playing on the Amiga version. And I love the little touches like the stubbed out cigarette butt for a tree in this promised land version. And later on you get to knight people, the ones that are true believers, and they'll all have their own individual icons. I think that, that mouse is one of them. Okay, so we've got a nice little expanse going here. Let's build it a bit further. Now, bearing in mind, you can only build where your followers are nearby, so you have to really make sure that they expand where you want them to. And you have to make sure that your 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 faith or your, your people's faith is strong enough to allow you to do these miracles. You have this bar on the top. You see it. You see it's on the, on the up and down arrow at the top of my screen right now. Well, the stronger I get, the more I can use that bar. I can kind of do extra god powers like night people, um, send earthquakes to the enemy, make them drown in marshland, all kinds of wonderful, horrific things to uh, inflict upon people who don't believe in me as a, as a deity. 
you know, because gods aren't all about peace and love, they're about destroying anybody who doesn't believe in you. Here we go. So we've got a nice little um, little area going here. My people are getting stronger. You can see by the crest of arms on the top right hand side, I'm laid in blue and the enemy is laid in red. So at the moment, I have a stronger following than the enemy does. But that is all going to change. More than likely anyway. Let's continue making the area suitable to live in. And then, being the god I am, who's a bit of an asshole, even though they're nice and comfy in their houses, I want them to build more houses. Build for me. Build for me. So I'll destroy your house. And I'll make you go out and venture forth and build some more houses, make some new families, make some more followers for my almighty god. So that I can rule you. And expand and destroy anybody who opposes me. You know. As any loving god would do. That's your pop matey. That's it, go build another house somewhere. And same goes for you, pal. Go on out of your houses. Do, 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 do. Go on. Off you go. But the plan works, as you can see, they're starting to expand. They're starting to get bigger houses and more of them. And I'm starting to get stronger. Soon I'll be able to mess about with the other god and his people. In fact, I could probably get started on that about now. I just want to build a few more houses first. Okay, how are we doing down this area? We're nice and comfy? Uh, well, can't have that, can we? Okay. Right, let's go mess with them. Oh, crikey, they're only on the other side of this. Look, here are the enemy. Oh, look at that. They have an evil Atari flag. We can't be having Ataris, can we? Let's, um, shake them up a bit. Oh, what's that? You're still alive? Oh, what a shame. Oh, did your houses just fall down? Oh, Dear, what a shame. Oh, I feel so bad for you. <laughs> well, let's go knight somebody. There's my area of worship. So now I have this. I can knight people. I can instruct them to go follow the uh, the, the Ankh. Anyone? Oh, they're expanding this way. <laughs> I wasn't quite planning them to uh, to expand this way. But that's okay. We can make it work. It is a bit rocky and mountainous, but... But it's all right. Anything for my peeps.
Yeah, we're gathering quite a strong following now. We're growing at a much quicker pace than that devil. Oh, wrong button. You know what? It's nearly time to send these people out to war because they're encroaching on my territory. And I can't have that. I'm looking at the map and I'm seeing some red dots spreading over to my land. And that just simply will not do. I mean, look, the Atarians are breaking into Commodore territory. That's just unacceptable. Right, boys. Time to start fighting. Go on, fight. Fight. Who are let's start a war? Who are start a war? Who are start a war? Say who are start a war? Yes. No, my guys are losing. Come on, fellas. Get out your houses. It's time for me to shake things up a little. Go on, fight for me. I have no idea whether that's a good guy or a bad guy there. All I know is I'm frying his Turbo Graphics Express. And they aren't best pleased. Right, I think now is the perfect time that we start to, uh, to mess with their homes a little bit again. Now, what do you reckon? Should we go for, uh, for some marshland? Yes, I think some marshland will be perfect. And an earthquake for good measure. Eat it. And that should slow him down enough for me to get the advantage. It's going to be all out carnage in a moment. See, there's some houses here. And strengthen these. Make them bigger, make them better, make them richer, make them cooler. Okay, fellas. Don't go out and fight for me, guys. Wow, look, they've spread all over the mountain. Look, they're all out here. Why on earth would you decide to live on a mountain? Because uh, I accidentally destroyed the building. I have no power there anymore. Oops. They've lost their faith in me. And when they have no faith, I have no power.
I'm going to tear him a new one soon. Let's build a knight. We need somebody to go to the Unk. So that I can knight them. And the knights are much stronger at fighting, much better at it. And they can lead the troops. To make sure everything's nice and flat. Now that should do it. And then we'll go and make sure that the opposite happens for the good old Atarians over here. So let's knight someone. And then let's earthquake these guys. And they have a huge following up here as well on the mountainside. So let's do the same there, shall we? Should we, uh, should we make them a bit swampy? Yeah, let's make them swampy. And these guys have been left untouched for a while. These Atarians over here, so let's uh, shake them up. And I know I said that before, but how many other jokes are you going to have about earthquakes? Come on, give me a chance. Well, it looks like I'm almost at full strength. Look at how quickly I've grown compared to my opposition there. This rascally Atarian. For Comedania! Ah, oh, Bullfrog, how I miss thee. Bullfrog was an amazing company, led by a kind of a shady boss. <laughs> Peter Molyneux, he, uh, his whole career was based on a lie. He accidentally, the rumour has it that he accidentally got shipped um, some development kits who, uh, and, and he used them basically after somebody said can you build this software for us we need it in x amount of weeks and peter molyneux said yeah sure okay pay us up front and we'll do it and apparently yeah he uh he just hired a group of people they they managed to scrape it by the skin of their teeth um and then they took that paycheck and went on to make fusion uh which was their first proper game they kind of fell into the industry Purely by Peter Molyneux wheeling and dealing. Which is kind of cool, but really, really shady at the same time. Okay, let's, let's go out and fight. I think we have enough people to, to kick ass and chew bubblegum. So let's do it. that heartbeat as well, it becomes almost um, rhythmic in a way. Well, it is rhythmic, it's a heartbeat. What the hell am I saying? I sound like an asshole right now. Um, but you know, it, it, it almost zones you out. It becomes part of you. And speaking of becoming part of me, it looks like my following 
has become like really really massive look my bar is all the way up to the top of the crest of arms my knights are leading the charge and when my bar gets up to the skull and crossbones at the end i'm gonna send the world into armageddon where it's just basically everything gets destroyed my knight against the enemy's knight and a one-on-one -on -one battle to the death and whoever wins that wins the map that's how it's gonna be that for me is the most interesting way to end a war I could go in and destroy every house every building but that kind of gets time consuming I'd prefer to just yeah build up enough mana so that I can just unleash hell I'll defend your territory like men. Oh, here we go. Big battle here. Am I winning? Those Damatarians are encroaching on my territory. I'm going to destroy their houses one at a time. We're nearly approaching the end. My guys are winning the fights. Nearly there. Just trying to build up the last bit of mana. It's tough being a god sometimes. All of those demands like, God, I want a new car. God, I want some money. God, kill Justin Bieber. Mana, however you want to pronounce it. men are fighting away don't just fight boys fight and win fight and win and in return I'll flatten the land and get you a condo how's that Oh, they're, they're getting awfully close. Although, I am kicking their ass in terms of numbers. Look how much of the map in the top left screen that my guys have covered. I'm the blue dots compared to the red dots. And we are on the verge of Armageddon. Just a tiny, tiny bit more mana.
Is that it? Can I Armageddon it? No, not quite. Ah, oh, just a touch more. <clears throat> Can I Armageddon it now? Yes, there we go. Okay, so. Now you notice all of the houses have gone. It's just my men and their men. We're going to walk off to a central location and we're going to fight to the death. Well, there we are. We're converging. They're all merging on this spot. All my guys, all their guys, all at war. And it's a war that I'm going to win. Yay, we win. Look at that, we won 227 as opposed to 55 battles. And there we go. Well done, Mozart. You conquered Genesis. But we're not going to start up the next level. So that is Populous, the Promised Lands. As as I as you can see, it is different enough from the PC Engine um, Turbo Chip cartridge to warrant it being on the top 50 list for the PC Engine CD as well. Um, I really love Populous. I think it's a great game. But now it's time to find another great game. But before I do that, I'm just going to go for a quick break. So I am going to put you on hold and we will be back shortly.